I was trained as a biologist in the, in the 80s in a niche of biology where science and practical application come together, the biological control of insect pests in agriculture. Uh, and at that time, recording behavior of insects was a very laborious process. I wanted to make my work more effective and started to, to develop my own recording and analysis tools. I learned myself programming and I developed what became the first version of the future product, the Observer. And that made me think, hey, making tools is as least as interesting and do, as doing science with the tools. And perhaps I should make the, uh, developing the tools my profession. When I was a PhD student working on tiny little insects, I could not have imagined to be working one day with global brands such as Boeing, Volvo or Nestle, or becoming a partner in the world's biggest research consortium on autism. Ten years ago we constructed a new office, our current headquarters, in the Science Park of Wageningen and my four children laid the first stone of the building uh, under the auspices of the mayor of Wageningen and that was a moment that filled me with great pride. Now, one of the, say, the greatest drivers in, in my work is the, the fact that you can turn an idea into reality in a relatively short period of time. You can come up with an idea today put a team of creative people together and start designing and developing and you may have a working prototype in a matter of months and I find it very rewarding especially if the tools are used for something beneficial the discovery of new drugs to cure diseases the design of better products that are more usable or safer whether it's software packages airplanes or cars. Ten years ago we have started a development which became known as automated behavioral phenotyping of rodents in home cages and by bringing the data from these sensors together we can build a complete picture of the behavioral status and the changes in the behavior and the response of the animal to stimuli in a fully automated fashion 24-7. We are now seeing that these say technical concepts and technologies are becoming used in other fields such as precision livestock farming and even humans in ambient assisted living. The future is going to be really exciting and I see developments in different directions. On the one hand we'll continue to develop uh, high quality sophisticated advanced tools. At the same time I foresee that these tools will say penetrate wider fields of application and I hope that those tools will be become adopted in in sports training and coaching and consumer applications. We are living in an increasingly digital world. Well this offers great possibilities for us to reach out to our customers all over the world any moment, any time. But on the other hand we also like personal contact because we know that the say face-to-face -face interaction and per the personal touch in our uh, customer relationships is a basis for success both of our customers and our company. If customers don't have time or the capabilities or the capacity to conduct the research with our tools we'll be happy to do it for them and for that purpose we've established a team of consultants who have expertise in the behavioral sciences and are very experienced with our tools and behavior research methods. As an employer, I want to create an exciting, challenging, and pleasant working environment for all the great people who work in our company and inspire them to reach their maximum potential.